Okay, number nine. A 2.9 kilogram wood podium is sitting on a horizontal marble floor. Sitting on a horizontal floor. Hmm, that seems to imply not moving. Let's read on and see if our suspicion is correct. The coefficient of static friction. Ah, that sure implies not moving. Right. The coefficient of static friction between wood and marble is 0.3. What's the biggest horizontal force with which someone can push without moving the block? Aha. If the block's not moving, we're pushing, right? We're pushing, and the block's not moving. So the total force, the sum of the forces is zero. Net force is zero. And up balances down, left balances right, forces balance. So what I underlined, three, no, three times is not enough. It deserves four, because that is so important. So what's the biggest you can push to the right? FA, what's that value? Well, if you're pushing to the right as hard as you can, and it still doesn't move, static friction is opposing your pull. The grip, the grip, the traction that the block has with the ground, the static friction, is why it doesn't go forward even when you push on it. MG, the weight pulls down, normal force points up. If the force is balanced, then left, FS max, balance is right, FA. Those are equal, they balance. And up, FN, balance is down, MG. They balance. When we are given mu, uh, you immediately start thinking, of the mu equation. We use mu s fs max because uh, we're dealing with static friction in this problem. fs max balances, we said, fa, they're equal. fn, we said, balances mg. So what's the value of fa? You just plug in 0.3, plug in the mass, what's the mass? 2.9 plug in your 9.8 and how long can I go? You get point, no, 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 8.5 newtons. Yes, you do. But a boom That's easy. 10. An 8 kilogram block. <laughs> A 8 kilogram block. Yikes. Long day. An 8 kilogram block can be pushed to the right with a maximum force, hmm, maximum, of 34 newtons before it starts sliding. Oh, that is so important. You're pushing to the right, or, uh, yeah, to the right with 34 newtons, and it still doesn't move. It's at rest. It remains that way. Total force is zero then, and just like in the previous problem, force is balance. That means something holds it there. Even though you push, it's being held. It has grip with the ground. There's static friction. And if that, if 34 is the biggest you push, then static friction is at its max. Weight pulls down. It's a horizontal surface, so the normal force is straight up. We have balancing. So FS max is 34. This is also 34. And normal up balances the down, mg. We have, what's the equation that mu have? Mu have this equation. I'm making so many bad jokes I can't even think and write. F s max equals mu s. That funny mu, Greek letter. The Greeks were should, sure were good at finding funny letters, right? Alpha, phi, so many funny letters. I wish I were Greek. Um, I just have really funny jokes. Okay, FS max balances the 34 newtons. Right. Mu is our unknown. We've been asked what is the coefficient of static friction between the block and the table. And FN is equal to MG. M is, what is it, 8. A8 kilogram block. G is 9.8. That's 34. 
This would have units of kilograms. That's meters per second squared. Together they make a newton, which cancels that newton. So mu get as your answer. What do mu get? You get uh, 34 over 8 over 9.8. Oh, calculator error. 0.43 is mu. Number 11. A block can be pushed with 64 newtons to the right before it starts moving. Oh my gosh. Before it starts moving. And they imply with this language that that's the biggest you push. That's the biggest applied force. So what holds it there? Of course, if it's not moving, static friction, the grip, is what keeps it stationary. That's why it is still yet to move. Mg pulls down, Fn, the surface, supports the block up. Of course, up balances down, Fs max balances, the left balances the right. What are we finding this time? It's like the exact same problem every single time. Uh, so let's see, what are we going to ask find? Oh no, we're given the coefficient of friction, static friction. We have to find the mass. Fs max, we said, balances 64. That is 0.5 zip, and Fn we replace with Mg, because those are equal. G is 9.8, you solve for M, right? Divide both sides by a half, divide both sides by 9.8. Our trusty algebra will not lead us astray. You get lucky number 13 kilograms. Okay, next one. We are ripping through these problems. This is a little different. How is this different? We have a 24 kilogram block, that's the mass, being moved. So this time it's sliding. You are no longer pushing and having it stay stationary. Instead, oh, there goes my eraser. Instead, you push and it moves. It's moving at constant velocity on a horizontal surface. Constant velocity, you see that word? It is a magic, magic word, right? How many colors can I use to underline constant velocity? You want to underline that word whenever you see it, constant velocity. It is so important. It's the key that unlocks the solution. Okay, constant velocity. Um, so make sure you underline that. Whenever you see constant velocity, right, you start to think the sum of the forces is zero. Where are all these colors coming from? Oh yeah, because I just used like every possible color. The sum of the forces is zero. Forces, again, balance. So you can move to the right even when there's no net force to the right. Motion does not require a net force acceleration does. Okay. Uh, a person is pulling with 108 newtons directed up at 55, uh, 35 degrees up from horizontal right. So I drew with my dotted line, horizontal right, 108 is up from that. Draw a free body diagram, we're on our way. Find the coefficient of kinetic friction. We are finding mu. That's what mu want. What else pulls on the block? I mean, it's in equilibrium, so you can't just have one uh, one force with its x and y parts, its components. Okay. Uh, I am going to draw the components, by the way, and then I can squiggle out. Right, squiggle this, squiggle. Uh, you can squiggle it out because now we we know we've taken care of it. We've drawn its components, and we're all set. We don't have to worry about the 2D vector anymore just its two components. So what else pulls on it besides the person? I mean, something has to balance the rightward force. Well, if the block moves to the right, then kinetic friction pulls the other way. This arrow is matching that arrow in length. They balance each other. Forces balance. Uh, moreover, there's an up and a down balancing that happens. So Fn, oh, but wait, 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 Fn, let me show that. Does Fn alone balance Mg? 
Should this arrow be the same length as this arrow? No, because there's another upward force besides Fn. Fn plus that y part of 108. That's what balances mg. So my picture's all wrong. I need Fn to be small. Smaller. And the length of Fn plus this length gives me how long mg should be. Because the sum of the up forces balances the sum of the down forces. OK, let's show this in math writing. Wow. That's not right. F left equals F right. Pulling left, I see just one force in my picture, FK. Pulling to the right, I have just one force. It's the X part of 108. So it's not all of 108 newtons, because part of the 108 newtons is pulling up. How much pulls to the right? Just 108 cosine 35 degrees. So what is our value of FK? If you calculate out 108 cos 35, you get 88.47. 88.47. OK, then. Remember, we're finding mu. Look at this. The only way you can find mu is from this equation. The only way to find mu k is from that equation. It's not in the same form that you're used to seeing. We usually see it this way. But if you divide both sides by Fn, you get this. So that's the only way to find mu. So to find mu, we need both Fk and Fn. We've just found Fk from the x balancing. Now we're going to find Fn from the y balancing. That's our, map, our road map. This is the strategy that we are following. We're finding Fk, finding Fn, in order to calculate mu. So, OK, let's do exactly that. Let's balance the down forces with the up forces. What pulls down? I look at my picture, and I see only mg, nothing else. What pulls up? Hmm, Fn. Oh, but there's that one, too, the y part of 108 newtons. So those are both pulling up, so I have to add them together. Fn plus the y part of 108, which is 108 sine 30 cinco. All right. Now I solve for Fn. I know what mass is. The mass, where is it? I lost it. it is 24. So 24 times 9.8 minus that whole term gives us fk. So what do we have then? 108 sine blah blah blah. We have 173.3 is fk. Beautiful. That's oh gosh. Wow. You can't you can't always just believe what you see, right? Fn, where did the fk come from? But you got you already caught it. You were thinking. You wanted to t you wanted to pause the video and send me an email. Say there's a mistake. Okay, no need. I caught it. So mu is equal to the ratio fk. Forty. Eighty-eight point four seven. Right. That's what I found. Right. Over fn, which what I what I got was one seventy-three point three. 88.47 over, I'm just going to second answer, and I get 0 0.51. That's what me get.